All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect. Uh, I, I, I point this way, but it's over here in the camera where that you guys can see, but over here my second monitor is on this end. Uh, but uh, welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect. Uh, we are going to go ahead and keep on going with uh, this episode or this series. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much longer we're going to do uh, record today, so this might be the last episode I do today. So the next episode, you'll probably see me in a different outfit. I'm going to keep pointing this way, but the, 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 I'm right there. I don't know. Uh, directions. Uh, let's just take the elevator. Well, this is one hell of a loading screen. Can't even move. Interesting elevator music, though. So we have to go talk to uh, the CSEC officer. I forget his name. Garrus, I think. I can't the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his word over ours. Yep, it is okay, only natural. So now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his Geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. Yep, pretty much. Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. We made it. One hell of a loading screen that was. Can we move, please? Yeah, all right. I do need to get a quieter keyboard because I know it's been coming up in. Uh... Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Okay, so that's the Citadel Tower. The bank, that's for Barla Vaughn, but we do need to go to the lower, let's see, ward. So let's see if we can find that area. Let's see, what's this? Citadel Rapid Transit, Rapid Transit, okay. So we need to find the lower ward area to get to that bar. Please do not disturb the keepers. So, the lower ward, if I had to guess, it's this way, but we'll see. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right. What do we have here? Uh, ward locations. Core's den. Okay, well, we can just fast travel where we need to go. Okay, that's nice. Nice and convenient. I wasn't sure if that would pop up there or not, but a gentleman's club in the wards. Okay. That's him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, shields. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's uh, actually do this the right way. Uh, let's see. Can I? Okay. Right, okay, so I will use this on him, and then you, I want, uh, Kaden, can you, uh, yes, do this on him, and then, uh, what is this? Restores a portion of your shields even while you are on fire. Uh, I guess we'll do this. And, uh, that's about it. Okay, awesome. Interesting. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Alright. Very bad aim. I'm totally not used to, uh, PC controls. I apologize for that. So, uh, if you'll forgive me, uh, F is to heal, right? Okay, cool. Uh, we will just continue and move on. If I could, I would play this with a controller, but... I guess this is the... The Gentleman's Club here. Okay, that's strange. Back off, Rex. Fizz told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's 
or he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. The story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no more with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Interesting. Interesting. Shit's going down in the club. Okay. Just not now. Watch the show. Commander! What do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Oraka, General of the Turian Fleet. Hmm. Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's, it's her. And her alone. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Huh, okay, so I guess I don't have enough skills to do these other two options, so let's see what this is. Enjoy your drink, General. Yeah, off you go. See you later, kid. I don't feel right just leaving like this. <laughs> don't waste your time, kid. Run away now, while you still can. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No. Those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. Uh... You're a damn general. Quit your whining. Ha! <laughs> you got balls, kid. There are only five people in this damn galaxy who talk to me like that. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and... Act like a general. I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. <laughs> it shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. You know, it's funny. Hard to imagine a I came in this area so and no one heard the blasters going on outside, like, really? Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian C-Sec officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down. Eh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did Captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the Captain? The Captain used to be a Spectre. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. Huh, that explains a lot. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. 
Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, might as well spread them around. That is gross, but a uh, weird me and it's a weird metaphor. Okay, gross. Uh, yeah. Here a pig. Just noticed that now, did you? Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The Heroes Fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> All right. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. He must have heard he was going back there. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. Okay. Well, uh, that's good, I guess. Um, are we going to get attacked again leaving here? So, Captain Anderson used to be a specter, eh? Can we... Is this a, uh... Guess this goes to the lower markets. Uh, map. So... Let's see... Upper wards, I guess, we have to go? Let's see the upper market. Let's see if we can take the stairs to the upper market, wherever those are. Uh, which I guess would be this way. Okay. Lower markets. All right. So we need to find a uh, journal. We need to find. Well, the Zeltan deal and then uh talk to garris med clinic in the upper wards that's right I, I i'm gonna be checking this constantly to remember where i need to go so we need to talk to garris in the upper wards in the medical area and we also need to talk to the shadow broker to see if we can compile some more evidence on Saren. uh so let's see Hopefully, this is the right direction to get to back to the upper wards. I should have checked the fast travel. Uh, hold on, let's check alleyways, med clinic. Okay, there's the med clinic. So we are going the right direction. So our med clinic. And CSEC. So this is the right direction. CSEC Academy, med clinics over there. Okay, cool. All right, let's see what we've got going on in here. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Well, okay then, badass. Oh, crap. Alright. And... Can I... I can't vault over that. God damn it. That's it. Bag him and tag him. What the hell? Interesting. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Uh, nice shot. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Uh, okay. Tell me what happened. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. All right, um, where'd she go? Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. 
He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Feast betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Why do You're you a Turian. Saren? Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council, and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. Hmm. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the academy before he leaves. Move out. Okay, current squad. Okay, so this is interesting. So you can, uh... Uh, okay, so apparently you're gonna get two more squad mates. Uh... Let's see, so... Okay, so this is the basic squad strength with just myself. I have a lot of tech and combat strength. Caden uh, provides biotech strength and or er, and tech strength, and Garrus provides. Uh, I think we're just gonna go with Caden and Garrus for now. We need a little bit of biotech uh, abilities in our squad, so we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, and I guess we'll, uh, do I want, do I really want Garrus though? Because I have, I would rather have some plenty of combat strength. Uh, yeah, I, I, I want to see how the tech strength works. So let's go ahead and go with that and confirm the squad selection. Renegade plus two. Uh, okay. Don't know what I what dialogue option. Or just whenever I complimented him on his shot, is that what? <laughs> is that what? Uh. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Uh, happy to help. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, is there anything you needed? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Oh, okay. So I can buy stuff from her. Uh, okay, well, um, we'll just, uh, wait, can I sell stuff? Ooh, wow, I can sell a lot. Uh, okay, well, let's take this opportunity to, uh, review what we have in our inventory then. Uh, let's see, assault rifles. I don't need assault rifles because my, my build is mostly, uh, snipers and... Snipers and, uh, yeah, I think we're going to go with the one here that does the most damage. Yeah, I mean, this one has a lot more accuracy, but this is a little bit better. So we're going to equip this because it does more damage, and then we're going to just get rid of all of the rest. And, uh, let's see... Yeah, and then we're gonna sell everything else, I guess. Yeah, let's check the pistols. Okay, yeah, let's sell everything else. So. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. All right. So let's sell. Uh. Oh, I have some armor upgrades too that I can utilize. Uh. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and sell that. Sell that, sell that. Uh, 
I don't want to sell all my armor just yet because I do. I, if I put points in armor, I have a feeling I'll be able to wear higher level armor. So we're definitely going to want that. Uh, I'm not going to use the assault rifles. I'm not going to need the shotgun. Uh, yeah, I do want to hang on to that. Uh, I don't think... I don't know if it'll sell what I have equipped. Yeah, I have a Reaper 2 equipped, so that it apparently won't, uh... Yeah, Sniper Rifle. Assault Rifle, Banshee 2. And we'll just leave that as is. So let's go into my inventory here. Uh... Let's check what... Armor upgrade, plus 30% toxin resistant. Uh, cooldown reduction. Yes, please. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's my dog, Gus. In case y'all couldn't tell. Uh, ooh, yeah. Uh, I need to figure out... Oh, you know what? I probably ought to give you a pistol of some sort. Oh, no, you already have one. Ooh, why are you not using this one? Yeah. The hell. Okay. Let's get out of here. I'm done with this. Let's go. We almost, we're almost at the time limit for this episode, which is kind of disappointing. We didn't really accomplish that much other than getting a couple new members to our squad. So let's go over here and, uh... Go talk to, uh, Rex. Speak to Rex. I guess we'll go speak to Rex. Uh, map. Do, 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 do. Where is Rex? Uh, nope. Wrong. Journal. Science. Nope. Uh, exposed. Rex. Speak to Rex. CSEC Academy. Okay, so let's see if we can find the CSEC Academy here. Uh, map. Uh. Damn. Uh. Let's see if we can... This should be a fast travel station over here. See, let's see if we can fast travel to the CSEC Academy. I don't want to do a, too much walking around if I don't have to, so let us... See if it'll take us there. Uh, embassies, ward tower, citadel towers. Nope. Uh, ward locations. Uh, nope. I can just fast travel to Korra's Den. Seasec uh, Academy, I would assume, is near the embassies. So let's try going there and seeing if if this is uh, Embassy Lounge. Okay, so that's Zelton. Uh, that we ha we have to talk to him for a different mission, and this is Shiara. Yeah, so let's go talk to Zelton, I guess, because. He wants to, uh, he's to blame, he's trying to blame sh stuff on Shiara. Shiara? Eh, however you pronounce her name. So let's go talk to him and get that side quest, or that assignment out of the way. Uh, so that I don't, just so that I don't mistake in that deal on the minimap for, uh, for something else. Hello there, human. Sincere apology. But I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, this should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, 
Anyone can discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, Din, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from cool. this in some way. Uh, okay. Oh, that's Captain Anderson. Um, don't really want to speak to him right now. Uh, guess we can go talk to Shyara and see how that played out. I mean, while we're at it. While we're at it, we'll go talk to her. Might as well. Um, you know what? Let's can we fast travel to that? Because I'd much rather do that than walk over walk over there. Uh, the citadel is freaking huge, and it's just it, it's time consuming to uh, to go anywhere. So let's just tra fast travel to her chambers, which is strange. Why would you have a fast travel station to your quarters? Oh, no, it's not to her quarters. It's just to her place of business. Okay. So we'll just uh, walk right in. Uh, let's go ahead and go up. Let us talk to her. We took Commander, care of your issues, lady. I recently lady. received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Okay. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding, a wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. A wise this may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my okay. words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Awesome. So we um, got some words of wisdom. Interesting. Um, unfortunately, we did not. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Unusual readings. The only assignment that we haven't gotten to. CSEC Academy, which is CSEC HQ. All right, so we'll go over there to the HQ and see if that's where we need to go. Who knows? But uh, we'll have to check that out on the next episode, everybody. So uh, my name is Zelfinex, as usual. Uh, leave a like and subscribe for more. Uh, and comment down below if you uh, have anything to say about the series and what we may want to do next on this game. I have never played it before, and I don't know where the story is going to take us. So uh, let me know what you guys think. 
And uh, I'll catch you all in the next video, everybody. Later.